Hi everyone, it's Helen from Mind Gift. Um, this week I'm going to talk to you about being your own best friend. Uh, I remember saying to you last week, I know, I know, I know, you think um, you know what I'm talking about, you all think that you know how to be your own best friend and you should do it better. But actually, your unconscious mind does not understand what I mean. And so I'm just going to clear it up for you by a little story. So there once was a girl who'd uh, been single for about a year after a breakup of a relationship and she finally got herself on um, one of those blind date apps, whatever, excuse me for being out of touch with those things, married for 20 odd years and all that, but you know what I'm talking about, Tinder or something. And so she gets herself on one of those apps and she arranges herself a date and she uh, goes goes to meet this guy on the date and he doesn't turn up. She waits about 45 minutes and realises he's not going to turn up. So off she takes herself back home, feeling obviously a bit down in the dumps and she calls her best friend and says to her best friend, her best friend says, oh, how did it go? And she says, oh, he didn't turn up. And her best friend says, oh, well, are you surprised, really? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, you've been single for a year, haven't you? I mean, look at the state of you. You need to get your hair cut. You never get your nails done. I mean, you put a bit of weight on, frankly, haven't you? And you're not very interesting, are you? Because you've not been doing anything the last year. You need to get a grip on your life and sort yourself out. I mean, frankly, I wouldn't want to go out with you. You need to sort yourself out. Are you surprised? Now, I'm guessing that you're all thinking, oh my God, ditch your best friend. Are you not? I'm pretty sure you would be. And if your best friend did, you called your best friend up and they did speak to you like that, you'd be thinking, jeepers. Yeah, you're no friend of mine, would you not? So, and why is that? Because obviously what that, that person's just said to you is really quite mean. It's actually unhelpful, the most important thing, is it? Because it's not going to in any moment in time, even if any of, any of that rubbish was to be slightly bit true, it's not in any way going to help you get yourself out of that situation, make yourself better, improve your life, is it? So, here's the thing. She didn't call her best friend at all, did she? What she did was she went home, she sat in a chair and she fast styled her own mind. And that's what she sat there and said or thought to herself. Anyone been in that situation themselves? I'm pretty sure you might have. We sit there and we let ourselves think all this absolute crap, quite frankly. Yeah. And then we wonder why we still feel rubbish. Yeah. And what I want you to ask yourself is, if you had, as I say, on reverse flip this round, if, if you, your best friend had called you, would you ever have said those things to your best friend? Well, actually, are you surprised? I mean, you've put away on your miserable buggy, you've been sat in your house for over a year, you've got no interests, your hair needs sorting out, um, you, you need to sort your nails out, and you're frankly really uninterested. Would you ever say that to your best friend? And I'm pretty sure that you're, again, horrified at the thought of ever speaking to anyone else that you care about like that. And my question is, do you not care about yourself? Would you not like to help yourself in this situation? And then I want you to ask yourself, well, why would I then use a strategy on myself that I know I would never use on anyone else that I care about and I know wouldn't help them? And frankly, it would be mean. Why would I do that and think that that's going to get me a different result and that's going to be in some way helpful? And yet we do find ourselves doing this rubbish, don't we? So, here's the thing, here's the tip. If you find yourself and when you find yourself in this situation where you're saying absolute rubbish to yourself in some way after whatever situation has happened, I need you to stop. And I need you to get a pen and paper and I need you to write across the top of that paper what would I say what would I say to my best friend right now not would, not what would my best friend say to me what would I say to my best friend right now and I want you to write that down and I want you to consider the contrast of what the difference is in what you're saying to yourself and what you would say to your best friend and then I need you to start saying to yourself what you would say to your best friend. And that's why I'm going to need you to write it down because that's what's going to really help you. So I hope that's hammered home the point and I hope that's got your attention about how powerful this is and how unhelpful it is and how actually ridiculous it is to think 
that would speak to ourselves in a way that we would never ever dream of speaking to anyone else like and use that strategy in the future whenever you find yourself feeling down and becoming aware because the awareness is the first point of change of how you are making yourself feel okay because you can make yourself feel better the only person you're going to spend the rest of your life with is you so you need to learn these tips and tools for yourself we don't need anyone else of course it's lovely to have all these people around us that love us but we don't need anyone else to help ourselves feel better we can do this ourselves we just need to apply the right strategy so when you become aware and you find yourself talking to yourself in this way in this unhelpful way it is only because you've been you doing this for years and yet you don't do it with anyone else like i say so it's a program that you've got that keeps running no other reason it just takes practice and repetition to get out of that habit and that's why you actually need a tool or a technique to actively use be your own best friend what would i say to my best friend write it down and then work with it because remember your mind is a gift and it will help you when you ask it a question it will go searching with your reticular activating system for the answer and it will give you the answers and it will help you it's not difficult it's not something you've actually even got to consciously consciously do your unconscious mind will do it for you so use that tip everybody stay safe take care of yourselves and i'll see you all again soon bye for now